Hey friends, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I am outside of my local bins. Yes, the Goodwill Outlet in Akron. I'm meeting my friend Cindy and we are going to hit the bins, maybe hit the retail side, definitely get lunch, probably mimosas. <laughs> it's a Saturday morning. I hope you can all stick around and see what I find. Let's get in there and start digging. Well, it's getting a little bit busier in here. We've made first rounds. Actually looked at some clothes, but nothing that I'm keeping, except for some two pieces that I want to keep for myself. One's like a big kind of shawl thing, but it has armholes. Kind of like some armholes. <laughs> armholes are good. And then I have no idea if these are staying or going. I found a couple of things that Earth might like. This and this little battery, um, or non-battery, like you wind it, yeah, hand crank, thank you. <laughs> crank it up so that you can uh, not need a battery. Crank it, <laughs> crank it up. I don't wanna get it for him if it doesn't work. It's Where's on the, the top. Oh, there it goes, okay. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Even for like camping, I think that would be good. Yeah. All right, so I might keep that. This I'm gonna look and see if it has all its components because it's all like in the box. I don't know if my mom ever uses these or not, but if she was gonna use one, it's kind of nice to have a big one in the box. It originally sold for 26 bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out a little bit closer and then maybe send her photos. Oh, this is the first thing I found was this tiny little bear with his little paws. <laughs> He's very sweet. A couple little Yankee votives, a couple little tiny planters that were handmade by MS. Mini planters. These I need because I just got something that takes this size, so. I don't know if I need a whole box, but I'll probably grab the whole box. Tiny little green single salt. It's not cut. It's just molded glass, but super cute. That probably won't go home with me. And another mud pie thing. Look what it says. It's five of guac somewhere. I'm kind of a fan of the mud pie dishes, serving dishes. Oh yeah, Cindy found these. I don't know if I'm keeping these or not, but look at how cool that is that they hang off the side of a bowl. We think that's super neat. We're waiting now because they're opening up the other side. So all those people that are standing right there, they're all waiting to get over there. They said, release the hounds. Everybody goes running. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I almost ran over a little child. <laughs> I didn't though, don't worry, I didn't. Gotta do kind of a quick first sweep. There's a little, it's like commander elephant. Hand painted. Hand painted. Oh, that's Pottery Barn. We might take a closer look at that. Mm, lots of little mugs in there that all kind of match. Big apple lid. Something that has feet. A tiny little squash or something. What is that? That looks like a candle. It is, with a busted tail. Deer plate. Some other plates that we don't want. Oh, these are cute. What are these? A set of stained glass candles. How cute those are. Probably take those. A 
big. Yeah. Asha is heavy. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> Cindy just left. She's like, I can't. Her anxiety is worse than mine when it comes to people. We were over in the other corner and she's like, there's just too many people. I said, yeah, I agree. It's a happy little Santa. Oh, he's a hook, stocking hook. You always gotta kind of look in the cracks and crevices. Okay. It's kind of cute. There's another one over here. He's not missing his eyeball. Gosh, that's a big mug. How cute is that? Oh, it's chipped. It's chipped. <laughs> that looks like a very uh, worried guy. <laughs> I forget what that's called, where you see faces in normal things. And a little lidded thing in here. I don't think that lid goes on that thing though. Those are pretty. Oh, it's got some damage right through the bottom of it. I think this row is a bust. Ooh, is that glass? Ah, it's broken. Yep, I think this row was a bust, y'all. We did get these cute little candles though. All right, let's go try another. Those quarter wrappers or penny wrappers? I'll take those. Do you need to get photos? Oh, yes, actually. I wouldn't, I couldn't. Yeah, that's me. Very mean. They're too pretty to catch. It's for the biggest like portfolio ever. I imagine that was like somebody in an advertising agency. Yeah, because there's a bunch of ads. Yeah, so it's probably somebody's portfolio. I um I have a portfolio from my ad days. Yeah. Yep. Some of this stuff is kind of cool. Yep, crescent board. Picky 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 picky. Kind of cool. I guess everything's probably done digitally. Uh -huh. Um, for presentation wise, yeah, it's like PowerPoints now instead of uh, everything printed. Unless it's a print campaign and then we would take the time to print stuff so they could see the quality of it. Yeah. All right, do we see everything? I think so. Do we see this aisle? I did. I don't know if I did or not. I guess we can give it a quick once over. Usually it takes me seeing one thing where I'm like, oh yeah, I saw that. Nope, I haven't been down this road because I did not see those milk bottles. I didn't see these guys. They're cute. Does that go on top of there? Yeah, that goes on top of there. It's like a plasticky resin. It looks kind of cheap. 
What is this? Computer genius. Mm, those are tumbleweed. Yeah, tumbleweed pottery. It's kind of not great. Lots and lots of forest vases. That looks like royal bear root. Definitely has a feel and the same kind of glaze. It is not marked, but that's interesting. It definitely has a royal bear root feel to it. We might rescue that little cutie. That'd be great. I've never found royal bear root in the bins. That'd be awesome. I'm a fan. I have um, some figural creamers made by Royal Bear Root. They're on top of my stove. I'll insert a picture here, but I love them so much. What are you leaving here with your little box? My box and the cross stitch book. Look at this oldie. I love that. Super cute. Nice. Primitive. And our cross stitch pattern. You're looking for a moth? Yeah. Oh, those are neat. Just to use as a pattern for my own embroidery, yeah. maybe. So I might use it and I also might sell it. So. Ah, good option. What is that from? 2008? Yeah. Oh, no, that's book 208. Is that uh, older? 1998. Yeah. Yeah. These that's sell cool. fairly well. No, those are good patterns. So that should sell. Yeah. Well, that the butterflies and everything are so popular, too. Yeah. And the moths. And the moths. Um, this is what I ended up with. So I'm getting these little, even though one of these is broken on the leaf, I'm gonna rescue all three because they're just adorable. I really do think this has the quality of Royal Bear Root, even though it's not marked, but it's so cute and the color is so great. I'm getting the, it's five of guac somewhere. And this little vase, that's a fake crackle. But the art on here is very neat. It's got this jumping, maybe deer, doe, with a little mustache. I don't know what's going on there. Is that teeth? Are those teeth? What's happening there? <laughs> Derp. It's kind of a derpy deer <laughs> on a pottery barn <laughs> vase um, with fake crazing. But for some reason, I'm attracted to it. So we're going to get that. Um, I got a couple of things clothing-wise. I got a nice, soft um, shawl. I got that little flashlight. This is like a one piece, um, I don't know, dress type thing. It's cute though, I love the color and the pattern. My candles and that little tiny bear that somebody's gonna love in a little mystery. That's it, that's it. Not a very exciting day at the bins. That's okay, they can't all be exciting. These are snack um, dispensers, and I think they were made here locally because we run into quite a few of them. And Cindy's sold quite a few online. I always end up gifting mine or keeping it. <laughs> I have one, mom has one. Um, I think this one I might sell. This one has a little written on top, but I realized I picked one of these up uh, over at the Talmadge Goodwill. The handle was busted on that one. I didn't realize it, and Cindy said, well, you have a cork then to replace that. And I said, yeah, you're right, I do. <coughs> Big candle. It's kind of cute. Cased glass. I wonder what the prices will be like today. Oh my gosh, I have one of these with my black lab on it. I think it's the same make. It's missing the lid. What the heck is that? Why? What's going on there? Is that a hippo biting a rhino? Or are they trying to make out? Or what's... I mean, no, you know. You never know. You never know. I mean, to each his own. <laughs> Go for it, hippo. We start out by biting somebody's face. That's the move. <laughs> 
<laughs> it might be to some people. Can you imagine the, the shop talk later? She bit my face and I fell in love. It was instant. That is some big wonky pot. Holy moly. That probably weighs oh, a lot. <laughs> I don't see a signature on it. <sighs> We're hoping maybe we find something magical over here. Maybe they'll start bringing carts out soon and we'll find something on the cart. Because we definitely did not strike gold over on the other side. Oh, I bet this is a doll. Are we scared? Oh, somebody hid a couple little... What? Somebody hid something in there. Hand painted Japan. I'm going to put that on the shelf so it doesn't fall out of there. Scare somebody and break on the ground. Whoa, that is a blinged out turkey there. It's plastic. What's that little guy? Little crouching guy with the hole. Alright, what am I missing? He holds something. He dispenses something maybe? I don't know. That guy's impressive. It's very, very big. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of new candles in here. They have three dollars each on them. They do smell good. I wonder if they used them for centerpieces for something. She found the eel Brody first. You win. He's kind of cool. It's carved out of something. There's a big vase up there. This is pretty. Is this wood? It is. I like that. What was in there? Coffee beans. Ooh, smells good too. Yeah, I like the look of that. I wish this was slightly different, maybe darker. Would have looked better. Anything in the blue? Got some little wonky pottery over here. <laughs> I think that's been here for a while. There's a big candle down here that has not been burned. $3. It has no scent. It's kind of pretty. I wish it was a more contrast. Made in Morocco. White end cap. We got some wild glass piece there. A little happy sheep. That's pretty. It's a music box. Six dollars. Mm, no. I don't know what triggered it, but I moved it. <laughs> it was uh, triggered by something. That's party light. It's Kind of cool, stylistically. What's going on there? There's a box with an angel crawling out the top of it. We got some greenery. What's this in here? Hiding in here. It's a bottle, a jar, with a canoe in it. Hmm. And here's a frog in a top hat. Caught a cart. I don't know if I saw everything on it or not. He's cute. But I grabbed some things that I want to look up. And then look at what Cindy found. Cute little, yeah, beautiful glaze on that. Little dish in a rusty color sign. I've seen this signature before I've had. I may still have this Faisal. Um piece in my collection. Dollar twenty-five. Yeah, that's definitely going with us. See this? 
I don't know. I don't know if it was. Oh, is that a puzzle? Yeah, but it's got all these little birdies. That's cool. I like that. I do too. And a feather. I don't know if it has all I its pieces. If it's cool. I, you want I me would to hope so. Put it together? <laughs> would you please? Yeah. <laughs> no. Are you really going yeah. to? <laughs> This is like, <laughs> it's probably like extra hard. It probably is, but I'll give it a go. Oh, another cart. Give it, give it a. I'll give it a go in a minute. Give it a go in a minute, yeah. Let's, I'm gonna move my cart out of the way. Dears, oh my gosh. Do you, did you claim that? You pointed it out first. No, I just pointed it. To oh my gosh. Look at all these wood carved things. Oh my gosh. What do they got prices on? Leaves. Five dollars. Look at this bird. He's so gosh. derpy looking. We love derpy birds. <laughs> He's got googly eyes. What are y'all doing back here? <laughs> Causing trouble? What are y'all doing? Turning around crap. That's kind of cold to canter. Oh. Prices on this one are higher than the last one. What did you pull? That's cool. These are very popular. Are they? Yes. I mean, I've sold the actual shell. You might want to. What's it say? Rose water. Oh, I like rose water. What was this one over here? I see something written on it. Milks. Emulsion. So this has a bunch of um, color missing because it's flashed. So we don't necessarily want that. I'm really excited to look at this a little bit closer. The horse is very cool. This is marked Taiwan, but this, this right here. Oh my gosh, look at that deer. Look at that face. What do you think it is? I don't know, like this one's actually Taiwan. That's just cute. Look at the faces. Yeah, he's derp derp. Yeah, he's five dollars, but I think he's going right into my collection. Mm. Look at those. Oh my gosh. That's exciting. The horse looks like it has some damage. It looks like it sat somewhere and got moisture. We'll look him up, but I'm a little concerned about the damage on him. These came off the first cart. Look how cute they are. They're both signed by the same artist. Um, DMW maybe? So we have like a napkin holder or letter holder. And then we have this one and I thought it was a shelf sitter, but because it only has one little leg, doesn't hold it up very well. Although the tail does hang. I don't know, I guess it could. But I was thinking maybe just because this had a wedge here, it could be used as a doorstop. Then you would just have the tail up like that. I don't know, it's adorable though. And they are the right price. I think somebody will love those. I love those closed eyes and those eyelashes. But I think we will grab those handmade pieces. Um, we're getting the snack thing. I don't even have to look that up. It just needs cleaned. I have to look this up. This is a personal amplifier. Includes earphone and headphone pocket talker. So I'm gonna see if all the pieces are in there. And check that out. This I picked up off the shelf. It is a handmade piece, stamped, studio stamped. I like the color of it. It's cappuccino. And this is just a really cute tin. It's three separate tins. I was thinking of my sister when I picked it up because she loves these gnomes. I just need to look this up and see what this is all about. So Cindy says it has all the pieces. Yep. And it sold for $36.95 retail. That's cool. I think yeah. somebody will love that. 
It was only two dollars. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Are these all, it's like, um, oh, Etsy. Yeah, I wonder if there's any listed on eBay. It doesn't matter, we're gonna grab it for two. So you just have to get them all in there? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's like a traditional puzzle. Right, you, you just, just have to fit them, them all. yeah. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. New car came out. I grabbed a couple of things off of it. I've sold these before. Usually though, the collapsible older ones, but this is a nice hanging basket. So, but they got $4 on it. So I'm gonna take a look and see if that makes sense to pick up. Um, I don't even know what this is. I just picked it up because it looked like a garage light for Earth. Zoom Versa Beam Floodlight. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. See if that's something Earth needs. And then Sydney picked these up initially. They, they look like they're hand carved. Them. They're beautiful. Yeah. yeah like a piece. Nice. They're nice, yeah. Although I love this guy, he does have some damage. And then I found additional damage. It looks like he was broken down here at the foot and re-glued. So uh, he's going to stay. I felt like we struck out over on the bin side, but I'm pretty happy with some of the finds over there on the retail side. Uh, we are headed to go get some lunch and then who knows what we'll get into. So maybe we'll pick this up in another video. Until then, please take care. I'll see you then. Bye!